Essay Level, Band 9. Our today's topic is, in some countries, the average weight of people is increasing and their levels of health and fitness are decreasing. What do you think are the causes of these problems and what measures could be taken to solve them? The issue of increasing weight and decreasing levels of health and fitness is a growing problem in many countries around the world. This trend is a result of several factors, including changes in diet, sedentary lifestyles, and lack of education about the importance of health and fitness. In this essay, we will examine these factors and suggest measures that can be taken to address this pressing issue. One of the primary causes of the increase in average weight is a shift in dietary habits. Many people consume more processed and junk food than ever before, which is often high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats. This type of food is not only lacking in essential nutrients, but also contributes to weight gain and can lead to a range of health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Another factor contributing to the problem is a decrease in physical activity levels. Many people lead sedentary lifestyles due to the rise of desk jobs and technological advancements, such as smartphones and computers, which discourage physical activity. Moreover, the lack of safe and accessible outdoor spaces for physical activity in urban areas also exacerbates this problem. Furthermore, there is a lack of education and awareness about the importance of health and fitness. Many people are not aware of the benefits of regular exercise and healthy eating habits. This lack of awareness and education can lead to unhealthy lifestyle choices, which can have long-term consequences for one's health. To address this problem, there are several measures that can be taken. Firstly, governments and health organizations can create awareness campaigns to educate people about the importance of healthy living. This can be achieved through mass media campaigns, educational programs in schools, and community outreach programs. Secondly, schools can incorporate more physical education into their curriculums, as well as provide healthy meal options for students. This can instill healthy habits from a young age and prevent the development of unhealthy lifestyle choices. Thirdly, urban planning can be improved to provide more safe and accessible outdoor spaces for physical activity, such as parks and cycling lanes. Additionally, workplaces can be encouraged to promote healthy lifestyles, such as providing standing desks and promoting walking meetings. In conclusion, the issue of increasing weight and decreasing levels of health and fitness is a complex problem that requires a multifaceted solution. It is important to address the root causes of the problem, including changes in diet, sedentary lifestyles, and lack of education about the importance of health and fitness. By implementing measures such as awareness campaigns, improved education, and changes to urban planning and workplace culture, we can work towards a healthier and more active population.